With estimates of 40,000 or more Russian troops gathering on the Ukrainian border, the president appeared to close the door shut on any military action. By taking the military option off the table, are you sending a signal to Vladimir Putin that other parts of Ukraine are his for the taking? And why not send uh, multinational peacekeepers to the Ukrainian border as a deterrent? After complaining about the questions coming in at a news conference in Rome. That's a lot of questions there, Jim. The president defended his sanctions first approach. I've been very clear in saying that we are going to do everything we can to support Ukraine and the Ukrainian people. But I think that it's also important for us not to promise and then not be able to deliver. All week, the president has been careful to separate Ukraine from the NATO countries in Eastern Europe he vowed to defend against any Russian aggression, a promise echoed by the Italian prime minister. The question for me is more clear, and the answer is easy, yes. Before the Ukraine crisis, this was supposed to be the key moment of the president's trip, his first meeting ever with Pope Francis. After exchanging gifts... I actually uh, will probably read this. Uh, in the Oval Office in my office when I'm deeply frustrated. The president said he and the Pope steered clear of the controversy over the contraception coverage mandates in Obamacare, but conceded the Vatican did raise concerns. The focus instead, Mr. Obama said, was on a shared goal of tackling income inequality. His Holiness has the capacity to open people's eyes and make sure they're seeing that this is an issue. The president finally found time to play tourist in chief at the Roman Colosseum. A break from his battle to contain Putin still looming outside these ancient walls. It's remarkable. Unbelievable.